Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today I am going to explain about how to use controlled current source and controlled voltage source in MATLAB. So for that just you go to open that blank model and then click library browser. So next you go to Simscape. Okay, so first you need to go for Simscape and then you must go to electrical and then here you will come to specialized power system and then fundamental blocks and then here you will see that electrical source okay so in electrical source you will see two kind of uh, sources one is controlled voltage source and controlled current source so i'm going to explain how to use that controlled voltage source now just you go to use control that means drag the control voltage source here so this control voltage source can be act as a ac source as well as a dc source okay so i am going to click the detail inside so here you will see that right so it have source type whether it is ac or dc so if you are putting ac so it will be asking initial amplitude phase and frequency if you are putting dc so it will ask only initial amplitude okay so you can operate that this source controlled voltage source in ac as well as dc so for example it uh, it going to be cancer as a source so next time i'm going to use some resistor okay see load okay rlc branch and then i'm going to use r load okay r load so that r load going to be connected to the this ac that mean controlled voltage source okay so next we need to provide input for this the controlled voltage source okay so first i am going to use uh, dc input right so i am going to use constant and then i am going to connect that constant to the control voltage source so here whatever input we are providing in the s input right so it will be uh, provide that uh, uh, that mean it will be generate that output voltage okay so it will be generate the voltage according with the input we are providing so here we are providing input is dc input okay so it will be generate dc uh, voltage only okay so next i am going to measure the voltage across that uh, load and current through that uh, resistor okay so here i am going to measure current through that resistor and then voltage across the load otherwise called we can call this voltage across that uh, controlled voltage source so next i am going to use scope to measure to see the result of voltage and current okay so here i am going to use two input scope so one is used to measure the voltage second one used to for measure the current okay so now everything okay so next we need another block nothing but power gi okay so we need power gi so now i am going to simulate this model and then we will check the results So here you will see that right the voltage is 1 volt right because our input will be 1 so the voltage will be 1 and current also 1 so car, why current is 1 because resistor we are uh, resistance we are taking is 1 now I am going to change to 2 ok and then you have to check the results so then only you will see the difference now you can see that right the voltage is maintained at 1 volt and current is maintained at uh, 0.5 amps ok. So now I am going to change the input of this uh, S input ok. So by using step, step input. So here I am going to vary the voltage, control the voltage right. So based upon time. So initially the voltage I am going to maintain is 1 volt. After 5 seconds I am going to change the voltage to 0.5 volt ok. And then I am going to check the results. So now you can see that right voltage is varying uh, from 0 to 
5 seconds right voltage is 1 volt and 5 to 10 seconds the voltage is 0.5 and also you can see the variation of load current okay so based upon this input that uh, controlled voltage source vary that uh, that mean vary that source voltage okay so now i am going to provide sinusoidal input sine wave input so here i am going to make amplitude is 1 and frequency i am going to make 1 hertz okay the frequency i am going to make 1 hertz and then I am going to check the result. So now we can see that right. So based upon input, whatever input we are providing to the voltage uh, control, controlled voltage source, so that going to be follow that one. Okay, and also you see the result of voltage across load as well as current through that uh, load. Okay, so this operation of uh, controlled uh, voltage source. Controlled voltage source. So next to move on to controlled current source. So you have to check the controlled current source detail. So now I am going to use controlled current source. Okay. So here I am going to use controlled current source and then the input I am going to consider uh, like uh, a DC source okay I am going to consider uh, DC source and then here I am going to connect in the load side the controlled current source is going to be connected in the load side so this controlled current source is connected in the load point so here i am going to use the controlled current source so now also i am going to provide input for this the controlled current source so here i am going to use uh, dc input or constant right so here also you can uh, uh, operate the controlled current source in the source type ac or uh, dc here i am going to consider uh, uh, that means you can provide input so accordingly it will be work okay so now I am going to check the result okay so here I am going to provide the voltage of input will be 1 volt and then we are I th here we are injecting the current right so we are injecting the current here okay we will check the result so now I am going to simulate the model so now you see that right we are getting around 1 volt right so voltage across that uh, source or load right will be 1 but you will see the current right current is minus 0.5 amps okay so that mean uh, it uh, taking around uh, 1 amp that means we are injecting 1 amps so that current will be in the opposite direction right so in order to check the current detail so here I am going to measure the current so in this point okay we need to check this that mean we have to check that kcl okay so that is the first measured is not a load current so that is source current okay so now you see that right we are measuring current in the source measuring current in the controlled current source and measuring current in the load side and then you have to check the and check the detail okay so now I am going to use max so better we can use uh, another two inputs and four layout this is source current okay so this is source current and then this is controlled current source current and this is load current okay so now you have to simulate the model now you can see here right so we are getting around uh, the current of the source will be 0.5 amps okay 
and then current of the control current source will be 1 and current of the load will be 0.5 ok. So, as per KCL right, so these are the incoming current right, so these are the incoming current and this is outgoing current right, so as per this logic right, so the for example you consider this is a current source right, so it will be supply 0.5 amps to that load ok, the remaining 0.5 will be sent to that uh, source side ok, so here the KCL is uh, this work properly ok. So, now I am going to change the this input to step input so here I am going to change step time equal to 5 now I am going to change the current value from 1 to 0.5 ok and apply now I am going to check the results so now you see that right initially the source current will be minus 0.5 because the controlled current source supplying around 1 amps. So the 1 amps will be sent to the load and the remaining 0.5 is sent to the source. Now you see that right now current will be changed from 1 amps to 0.5 amps current controlled current source right. So now the 0.5 will be sent to the source and uh, the source current will be 0. Source is not supplying any current or not receiving current from the controlled current source ok and also now I am going to check the detail for a sine wave and then here I am going to fix amplitude which is equal to 2 pi 1 and 1 e power minus 6 now I am going to check the result so now you see that right that load right load receiving only DC component current and source receiving the uh, AC component current right that mean uh, that DC source is connected to the load right so that will be taken only DC component current and then whatever uh, voltage we are sending to that uh, from that controlled current source right so that will be sending back to the source ok so you will see the difference right so this is a operation of controlled current source ok so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye